What's going on guys? Welcome to the 34th Xamarin Answer tutorial. And in this video, what we're going to be taking a look at is the scroll view, okay? And now the scroll view is something that is really helpful when you have too many components that can fit on the screen. And what I mean by that is this. So see we have a, a activity here where we have multiple edit text, radio groups, and we are able to scroll to see the rest of the content on the screen. So this whole screen can only fit so much, but when we overlap it, we can then see everything on it, okay? So this is really helpful when we don't want the user to have to go to another activity or expand and collapse things just to fit something on the screen. Well, where we can do is we can just wrap it in a scroll view and therefore let the user easily navigate through the activity itself, okay? So in this tutorial, what we're gonna be taking a look at is how to implement one and when to do it and when to not do it, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to start a new project, okay? So let's come into here and let's, I'm going to call it scroll view underscore tutorial. And because of the fact that we've gone over a lot of the stuff with like edit text and, and, and designing, we're going to brush over that very lightly, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to make a edit text layout. Edit text style, okay? And this is gonna be a selector, so if you guys are familiar with this, then no problem. And if you're not, we've gone over this in the previous tutorials, so just go ahead and take, take a look back on some of the other videos, and that'll be where I go into, into a selector in more depth, okay? But essentially this is going to be changing the color and the style of the edit text depending on whether or not it's focused by the user, okay? So now that we have that, I'm gonna come into our main AXML file, okay? And here we are right here, okay? So before I start editing this, I'm gonna come into my properties and I wanna change my API level to 19, okay? You may not have to do this depending on the phone that you're gonna be using, but I'm gonna be using the Nexus 5 emulator. So because of that, I can change it now to the, how the designer render for API version 19, okay? So once again, because I've already gone over a lot of like with the edit text and like this is just some basic designing besides the scroll view, I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything and I'm gonna copy and paste it into here, okay? besides of course the scroll view since that's what we're gonna be concentrating on in this video. But here we have just a few buttons, a few radio groups, and then some edit text, okay? So if we come back over to our, our designer, it should be able to render that fine, okay? And what I'll do to change, I'll change this manually to something a little lighter for the background, something like lighter gray okay now as you can see here guys we see everything that the screen can fit okay so it gets up to the last radio button and then it just can't fit anymore and we don't ever see the button this button down here and that's just because there's too much on the screen that we can that it can fit okay so a good way to just go about this is just, just to go ahead and wrap it inside of a scroll view and therefore let the user scroll to the rest of the content okay so if you come over to the toolbox, you should be able to see inside of the composite tab a scroll view tool, okay? And I'm gonna put that somewhere up top. And here we have our scroll view, okay? So your intuition may tell you just to take the edit text and everything else with it and simply wrap that inside of the scroll view, okay? So the scroll view is everything inside of it, you might think that's going to be scrolled, okay? But if we truly try to do this, we'll come back to the designer and we'll see that it cannot render it, okay? And even if I try to rebuild it, it'll say, we, actually, uh, we can actually get rid of this. This is just a stuff that it generates for us on startup, okay? So once we do it a rebuild, it will then rebuild and it'll say that it succeeded, okay? So you might think, okay, everything's good, it succeeded, the designer just maybe just can't render it right now. 
but it does ha this does happen. Microsoft Visual Studio will sometimes crash because the designer just can't render it. So that being said, we'll need to restart our project and something must be wrong. So you might be thinking something's wrong, what's going on? And what's going on guys is that the if we do ever get an error, if Visual Studio doesn't crash, it'll tell us that the scroll view can only host one child. Okay, so it can have one immediate child and that's it. So what we need to do to fix this problem is we need to implement a table layout. Okay, so a table layout is going to be the scroll views immediate one child and then everything inside of the table layout will then be the scrollable stuff. Okay, so let's do Give it a, let's get the table layout. Let's give it a few properties like the width and the height to fill the parent, which is the scroll view. And then finally, we're going to have a property that's called stretch columns. Okay, so we wanted to, how many columns do we need to stretch it? And we only need to stretch it one since there is really just one column, which is the width of the screen. Okay, so now we can take that and we can wrap it all of the stuff inside of the table layout. And this is our way around. This is our workaround, guys. What will happen now is we can now throw whatever we want to scroll, throw it inside of the table layout, and then the table layout put that inside directly underneath the scroll view. So the, the table layout is the one immediate child of the scroll view, and then of course everything inside the table layout will scroll, okay? So let's go ahead back over to the designer and let's make sure that it is rendering properly, okay? So it looks good, it's rendering property, and you notice that if you click on it, you'll get a scroll bar over here, okay, a vertical scroll bar that will then allow us to scroll dynamically in the actual designer, okay? So this is a good indication that everything is working since the designer now knows what we want it to do, okay, and how we want it to render, okay? So let's go ahead and do a rebuild, and let's just go ahead and make sure that this is working properly when it's running. Okay, I'll go ahead and start the emulator. And what we should see, guys, is the everything everything that the screen can fit. And then when we want to scroll, we should be able to scroll anywhere inside the screen and it should take us to the remaining content, okay? So if the user goes ahead and puts all their information in and then checks whether or not they're a male or female and anything else, they should be able to scroll down now to see the save button, okay? And what's great about this, guys, is you can, the, the, the scroll view takes care of whether or not you're clicking on it. So if you actually click right here, it knows you're trying to scroll down. And where you just do a single click, it knows you're trying to get inside of the edit text to put information, okay? So they don't overlap, okay? So the scroll view takes care of a lot of that for you, where the user can then scroll anywhere they want to go down to the remaining content. And then, of course, save and then continue on to the next activity, okay? So what's great about this also is what we can just keep throwing stuff in it. So we, we are not limited on what we can put inside of the scroll view. We can virtually put anything inside of it and, and however many components and just make it very fluid and, and easily to navigate for the user, okay? So I've used this many times in my own applications that I've built and it's really good helpful way to just stay inside of one activity in one form, okay? so. If you, uh, our guys run into the problem of being able to try to fit everything into a, uh, into one page or one screen, go ahead and keep the scroll view in mind. And then it, hopefully you can wrap that inside of it and just easily let the user navigate all of the tools. Okay. As always, thanks for watching guys.